it's heartwarming to see this gun and know that it's 80 years old and, and the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people that have run this gun and how it's brought people into this industry and into shooting, into the love of shooting. And I'll always have a spot in my heart for Daisy. So, great product. Hey, growing up, every kid dreamed of a Daisy BB gun. I was no exception. I grew up poor and wanted one really, really bad. I got a secondhand one for Christmas one year and it changed my life. It's the 80th anniversary of these things. Millions have been sold and they have turned more kids into hunters than any other tool out there. It's just absolutely an incredible piece of equipment, inexpensive to buy and fun to shoot. So I'm, uh, I'm a young dad, I have four kids, uh, ages from nine, seven, five, and three. Um, I'm an avid outdoorsman and firearm enthusiast. Um, got my kids shooting bow and arrows and also they're intrigued and interested in shooting firearms. Um, so one of the firearms I have in the garage is a Red Ryder. Um, and it's something that I'm comfortable with them shooting as well as letting them go out with in the backyard under my supervision off the porch and have them shooting at cans and other targets that they make. Uh, it's one of the fun things about a daisy is it's simple to load and fire um, and it gives them an opportunity to feel the responsibility of a firearm. For me the Red Rider means freedom. Uh, being eight years old, being your, my first rifle or my first uh, firearm, it was very important. Really appreciated uh, my uncle who provided it to me and helped me get started. It's, been, it's created a lifelong passion for shooting. You know, uh, I look at this and it triggers a whole lot of emotions. I grew up in the country and uh, had one of these in my hand way before I ever had a slingshot or anything else. And I learned how to shoot safely with it. I also learned how to shoot unsafely with it. And uh, I can remember going out and shooting grasshoppers off with tomato plants in my grandmother's garden with these. Uh, I still have mine. And I think it might shoot. I wouldn't count on it because it's probably had a half a million BBs through it over the years. But uh, looking at this gun and the yellow tube of BBs and all those things, boy, it triggers a lot of really good memories for a kid from the country. I grew up in the 19, late 1960s, early 70s. And so Westerns were really popular during that time. And this is every little kid's big man's gun. And uh, I had, me and my brother had these and we would go out mouse hunting with these on our on a property that my dad had. So this was uh, served for us not only as a, a, a uh, way that we can play grown-ups, but we also did pest control with them. So they, this brings back a lot of memories for me because, uh, you know, the best days of our lives, we look back at our youth and all the cool things we get to do. And uh, tassels were awesome. I remember we wanted the tassels. We want to be like the Western guys. And uh, so th this uh, <clears throat> BB gun holds a lot of memories for me. And it still does. I still have, I actually still have the uh, one I had as a kid.